All right, guys. It's tomorrow coming back at you again on your big bass lovers. <laughs> um, I didn't think all this was going to come at one time. This is two separate orders. This is all from Land Big Fish. Uh, they had a a bunch of stuff go on sale, like for Black Friday. No, it's not Black Friday, but for Christmas. Um, so I thought since um, I was out here, I had my phone with me, I'd go and do a video and show what I got. Um, so without further ado, let's get into a couple things. Let's move some stuff out of the way. All right. This first little box, I think I know what this is. I think this is uh, the swinging net heads that were back ordered. Um, you guys know I love anything Ned, anything Ned fishing that is, especially. Um, let's see here. I think that goes right in the middle. I don't even know where it goes. Let's see where it goes to. All right, this is a different kind of box. So it goes over here. Uh, no, I was wrong. Okay. This is my Yellow Magic Poppers. There we go. Yellow Magic Poppers. Land Big Fish sticker. Um, these and Rico are probably some of the best poppers you can get. Um, there's lots of other good poppers out there. Don't get me wrong. Um, but if I have my choice between them, I would pick these Yellow Magic. Well, yellow... I kind of have a little bit of a preference towards Yellow Magic. Um, they had these on special. I do believe those were, um, normally, I think these are like 12 or $14 a piece. And I think these are on sale for seven. I think they're 14. Now I think about it. Um, here's another order here before we get into bigger boxes. And I think I still have another box coming to me too, because they had some, um, they put some other stuff on special that I, had, I couldn't, and I have my, oops, make sure I hit the table. I have my um, my gift card. I haven't used my gift card in about a year and a half. So I got to use my gift card. I had like $98 on my gift card. And here's my swing and net hits, okay. I got some three eighths, three sixteenths, and there should be an eighth in here and a quarter. What these do for you, what, what my main intention with these, um, usually when you have a bigger head, the Ned has a lot harder time standing the Ned up, even if you're using Z-Man or any of the TPE kind of plastics. When you're using like quarter, three eighths, half, when you're trying to fish deep, it has a really hard time standing that net up. Uh, with these, since these are articulating or swinging, whatever you want to call them, these will actually help you stand the net up by itself. Let me take one out for you. All right, if I can get the packaging to work with me. And I'll probably be rigging these mostly Texas. This is their Nico hook which you guys know I love their, their finesse Nico hooks. They're super sharp, they're strong. Uh, yep, see, so it'll be on the bottom and this kind of swings around. The net will sit on the bottom and it's to be able to hold it up. So yeah, I like that design. I am really surprised that somebody didn't come out with one sooner. If you ask me, it was kind of, I thought it would come out a lot sooner. Um, anyway, but there you go, there's those. I got a couple packs of each, but mostly I got was an eighth and a quarter, I think, or an eighth and three sixteenths and a quarter. Um, let me put this back together if I can. It's kind of different packaging. Um, I've also got a new jig box. I need to get that out and show it to you off the boat. Um, I'll do that in another video. Okay, so there's the swinging the head. You got it, They also had 1 16th ounce swinging the head. So I thought for really shallow water, or even throw in like a, um, like a little swim bait or something on there. I thought that would be really cool. Anyway, let me get this put back up. Let's move on to the next box. All 
right, let's see what we got in this one. There we go. Some Slim Swims. So what you greet it with here, Slim Swims. Wait, Slim Slams are some of my, my, my favorite little swim baits. And then you have the Yum Sonar Minnows. The forward-facing sonar. Which, guys, you don't have to have a forward-facing sonar to be able to use these. Uh, these work great as far as, like, hover rig. They work great as far as uh, just as a Ned bait. Uh these work good for almost anything you want to do. As a matter of fact, I ordered a bunch more of these because these were like $2 a pack. Uh, so here's some of those. And I, I love these finesse eyes. Um, I like them for lots of different things. I like to throw them for like Nico rig. Um, I like to throw them for like pure um, little small swim baits, things of that nature. Not Nico rig. Uh, I'm sorry, I got that in my mind clear. Um, I call it tight lining here, but I think out west, they call it, um, gosh, out west, they call it, my mind is drawing a complete blank. We call it tight lining here. There they call it uh, Demiki rigging. That's what they call it, Demiki rigging. I like these better than the Demiki rig head. They're more, a lot more versatile. I just think they work better. Um, I also got some of the warning shots. These are like their drop shot baits, but I really don't use them for drop shot. I use them for hover rigging or tight lining or Demiki rigging, whatever you want to call it. Um, but from here you got some more of the forward facing sonar. This is the Gizzard Chad. Then this is the JC Natural Gizzard Chad. Hope you can see that good. JC Natural. Uh, just some more. That's 10 Killer Special. Slim Swims. I also like Z Man came out with a. I have, there's another Slim Swims that's 2.5. Uh, Z-Man came out with a finesse swim bait, swim jig, I mean. That is a killer. That's finesse swim jig, swim jig with uh, the 2.5 swim slim swim. Uh, that is a money bait. Okay, so basically what we got here is just some more um, the warning shots, some more slim swims. All right, and some more forward-facing sonars. I, I like their jig for this as well. Yum makes a really good jig. It's Jason Christie's jig, the forward-facing sonar jig, or FF sonar. Um, I ordered some more of those. I tried a couple packs of them from Dick's, and I, I really liked them. And with this special they got from Land Big Fish, um, you could get them for like two, I think it was two sixty a pack. So I ordered um, all the ones they like basically had. I ordered like two or three packs of each one. Um, just because I really like throwing them, uh, especially throwing them around ridge pylons. Uh, I don't really like losing these little uh, <laughs> Z-Man finesse eyes because that can get kind of expensive. If I can get something really cheap, I like to throw that. That's just being honest. Uh, if I'm going to lose something, I'll really be throwing something cheaper than throwing something more expensive. Anyway, here's the next box. Without further ado. Let's tear open. I'm pretty sure this is a continuation of that order there. This is their big box, and this is their, ne their, their next big box here. I think this, yep, yeah, that's 100% what that is. That's exactly what that is. Ooh, here it all comes. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me back this up a little bit because you guys pretty much know what this. Uh, they had, for one day only, they had a. Um, I think it was a 40% sale on six cents. And so I jumped on it. I really like the flush. So I got the colors I like to fish in the flush, which this is, um, pretty sure that's sunfish juice. 
Then you got, um, this one here is the, uh, the Bluegill Magic. More Bluegill Magic. Um, kind of your standard colors. That's um, Gizzard Shad. Uh, let me just show you one of these real fast, just because maybe some of you guys don't know. They don't really put these in the six cents box that much. I think main reason why is because the the package is about as big as about as too wide for the bag and box. Um, let's see, do I have the bag and box over here? Let's test that theory real quick. Here is a six cents box. And here is the six cents bag. So if they actually put these in there, it's just about as wide as the bag. So it's gonna be really hard shutting that bag. And then when they put it in the box, this is the box they use right here. Let me back this up a little bit. This is why you don't get many flushes. It does not fit in the damn, you can't see it. It does not fit in the box. Can you see? God damn, sorry about that guys. It does not fit in the box. So that's why I think you don't get flushes in your six cents box. But I wish you did because these, these in the jungle minnows, I mean, <laughs> six cents, <laughs> I mean, and the whales. I'm sorry, the whale swim baits as well. I forgot about that. But I digress. Uh, here, as you can see, it's full of flushes and whales. But let me get this little box out of the way. You don't need that no more. All right, so here we go. Let's go back to what we were talking about here. We got, here's the whale. The whale, I like this little swim bait a lot. I mean, this little swim bait right here um, it's a good one. There's some things in here I haven't tried yet, but there's more flushes. Um, I do like their underspins, the divine underspins. I got several of those. I got lots of flushes. I even got some of the smaller whales. I think these are the three inch whales. You have three inch. It's a three inch and you got the 4.5 inch. And then I also got some 3.5 inch whales. And I got these kind of in the same color. I'm pretty sure this is pro shad, yeah. Uh, one thing from Six Sense I haven't tried yet because they haven't been in the box. They've never had these in the box for us. Is the flutter spoons. So I got Two of each one of these to try. I think they're one and a quarter ounce, 4.75 inch. And this one here is the um, the hex foil. Then there should be another two in here. And these are normally like $14, and they were like $7 on the sale, uh, or something like that. There they are right there. Here's another one. This is the other one I got. This is called the hex chrome. Same size. One and a quarter ounce, 4.75. All right, so anything else in here different you might want to see. Uh, what color is that? That's the that's the Pro Blue Whale, the little small whale, the three inch Pro Blue. That's a really good color. You can't really see it good on there. I'm not used to having the screen poking up like this. Maybe I should put it back down. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not used to, I'm used to working on my hands down here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get one of these out first. I want you to take a look at it. Um, you guys, I'm all, you know I'm all about fishing either big lures or small lures. But this little guy right here, um, I mean, I was using the Mega Bass, the Spark Shad. When Six Cents came out with this, in the cold winter months, I like this better. If you're throwing a finesse swim bait, I mean, I really like throwing Kytex and things of that nature. But in the winter, to me, Kytex have too much action. 
that really soft tail flicking back and forth. I just don't seem like I get as many bites as I was getting on the Spark Shad. And this right here for the price and performance, I don't think Spark Shad shut, touches it. I don't think it does. Um, They've got good colors. I wish I could see this in the water. And also got some of their uh, Busa worms. They're a 6.5 inch worm, 10 pack. Um, I haven't tried these yet. I'm hoping, I've seen them, people using them online, but they look really good. They look like the, um, they look like the um, tornado worms. They look almost exactly like tornado worms, except they're a lot, they got these a lot cheaper. Look how soft that is, guys. Look how soft that is. You can't tell me that's not gonna catch a bunch of fish. I'm gonna put that back in here. Hoping they're not getting all bent up in that little flimsy bag. I'm used to six cents putting stuff in a, a clam shoe. But anyway, what else is different here I can show you that you haven't already seen? I don't wanna bore people. Uh, just more boosa worms, more boosa worms. I think that's the yeah green pumpkin juice color. It's basically like a, a watermelon. I mean, green pumpkin magic is what basically I would call that color. Green pumpkin magic. More whales. Uh, oh, here we go. I forgot I had these in here. I got several packs of these in here too. I was talking about. The jungle jungle minnows, and there they are. If you want something, uh, for I mean, this, um, the Strike King uh, Z2, um, the the Yum, the um, the Yum forward facing sonar minnow. The Domeki Armor Shad. And um, there's something else I'm missing. I'm thinking in my head real fast. Give me a second. Um, the Juggle, but I kind of like this probably about just more than any of them. This, just the Juggle Minnow. I mean, this right here on the hover rig. You want to talk about money? You want to talk about catching some fish? This little guy right here on the hover rig. Um, I really don't, I haven't really seen this equal. But there's sometimes when it has too much action, when its tail is really too much. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me get out one of these yums. So you can see what I'm talking about. All right, here's a yum. In the winter time, and I forgot that maybe we gotta open it like this now. In the winter time, I kind of prefer these right here a little bit more than this. And you can kind of see already how this has way more action than this does. But this is pretty much anatomically correct. You see how the, the V kind of sits, how the normal fish fish's tail sit? But that also makes it have a lot more action. This has a lot more buoyancy. I mean, some people would say it's kind of a do nothing bait. You need to have your, your hover rig or your jig head on here. You want to tie them on with a loop knot to give it more action. Um, and I need to do a video just fishing, this kind of fishing. fishing. Uh, everybody says you have to have a forward facing sonar, that's bullshit. You can go out and you can load your boat. Just fishing these two little things, fishing. A lot of times I'll have one rod rigged up with the jungle minnow, one rod rigged up with the forward facing sonar minnow, and one rod rigged up with a Z2. Depends on just how finicky the fish have been. 
I mean, if you're, especially if you're fishing a tournament and you're having a hard time finding a bite, um, this right here is all you need, fellas. And a lot of times I fish, it depends on how deep I'm fishing. If I'm fishing pretty shallow with, with my, uh, my Demiki my, my, my rig, hover rig, um, tight lining, wherever you want to call it. If I'm fishing kind of shallow, I'm using my BFS gear. I have better control. I can pinpoint it a lot better. But if I'm fishing really deep, like 12 foot, 14 foot, 15 foot deeper, I'm going to be fishing on a spinning rod. That's just point blank how it goes. That works. That just seems like I can get it down. I don't have to sit there and worry about free lining the bait caster down. If I'm fishing deep, I'm fishing on a spinning rod. If I'm fishing shallow, I'm fishing BFS gear. Um, and I think, yeah, juggamental, 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 juggamental. I think that's all you guys need to see in here. Um, just want to show you kind of what I got from Land Big Fish real quick. I know some people get really bored about having, um, I guess you call it box opening. But I like to share, I like to share and show. I mean, I gotta do some videos about riggings. Um, I gotta do some more on the water. I realized that when I was editing my video uh, for my, when me and my son went out fishing on Saturday, um, I did not realize that the wind, I need to get me a lapel mic. My, the wind where I had my GoPro on my chest basically ruined all my footage. You can't hear me talk. You can't hardly hear nothing but wind whip. Uh, because it was so doggone windy. Um, I'm going to see if I can salvage any of it to at least put some up. We'll have to find out. Um, all right, guys. If you have any questions about any of this kind of stuff, if you want to know what kind of hooks I like to use or anything like that, uh, let me know. I'll get back to you. If you want to know, basically... Uh, if I'm throwing a hover rig, I'm throwing a core tackle. Uh, I would much rather do that than put, I want to get a jig hook, thread the jig hook through there, get a nail weight, put the nail weight in there. It's just too much of a process. And it, it costs maybe a little bit more to go with the core rig versus that, but it's so much more simpler. And you ain't got to worry about the nail weight positioning. You ain't got to worry about the nail weight coming out. Uh, I've had times where I was throwing a uh, hover rig in, or a tight line or whatever you want to call it and the, the nail weight comes out and it's like you're wondering why you're having a hard time getting down you realize your nail weight's gone. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I've been on here way too long. I don't want to get you guys kind of irritated with me. Alright guys, until uh, next time, tight lines. Like I said, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any kind of questions, let me know. If you guys haven't started using land big fish, you're missing out. I'm telling you, you don't have to pay taxes, no shipping. Well, you gotta, you gotta pay taxes if you live in, uh, I think they're out of uh, Kentucky, yeah. You gotta pay taxes if you're in Kentucky. But if you're anywhere else, you ain't gotta pay taxes. When I used to live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I used to go over there, they, they were used to be in uh, Ohio. And they might still be in Ohio, but I know everything ships out of Kentucky now, but um, I haven't asked them lately. But anyway, um, you earn points. Like I said, I had earned points throughout the year that I had, like, my thing I did, then I used my gift card for two years. And um, I had $98 saved up on my gift card. So I did another order today for some more of these, some more um, of the forward forward facing jigs. The Yum Four Facing Jigs. They're, I think they're they're still they're still off right now. They had a um, I had a um, they send you actually in your email they send you different kinds of coupons and stuff as well. And I had an extra fifteen percent off, so I had twenty percent off plus fifteen percent off. So, and then I had my gift card. I did another big order, um, and I basically got it almost all for free. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and sign off. Till next time, tight lines. Um, share this video. Anybody looking at this kind of stuff? I'm going to get some more stuff up for you guys. But for now, 
I'm going to go back in the house, go get some more crap done for the wife. Um, you guys have a good day. And if I don't talk to you beforehand, Merry Christmas.